What is going on guys? It is Power Bang back on home turf, back in the home office after spending a week in Estonia. Uh, they're doing the CWL finals for season two. Congrats to the Dark Looters taking home the crown for the second season in a row, beating out War and Glory narrowly in a hard fought contest. So big grats to the Dark Looters. Now, when I got back, WHF had some crazy wars taking out Immoral Thieves, Dark Looters Z, and Chasu. And really, really good raids here to show off after this one. We're going to take a look at the Town Hall 10 Hog Riders today. Perhaps you can learn something, especially about how to explain exploit your opponent's holes that's that's, that's a true story All right, so we are back. Here we are, 113-109, your final WHF winning by a couple of percent as well as four stars in this one. Uh, perfect performance here for the Town Hall 11s. You can see 12 for 12 on the dips. All six uh, players really doing a great job. And then uh, we had five Town Hall 10 triples as well. Now I'm going to show you guys some Hog Rider attacks. And uh, the first couple are going to have some major, major holes to exploit. First off... Do um, you guys see anything wrong right there? Well, I do. So, three poach layup's going to start off with the queen on the outside doing some work. Now, he's got a hole in the center of the base, so he brings a golem, five valkyries, and the king. And he's going to drop the poison to preemptively take out the CC. And then also, a rage spell to take out the whole core, including the enemy queen. That is going to make a really nice, easy path around this base. I mean, you guys will see it. So, there it is. Golem down. Rage spell down. Here comes the valks. Here comes the king. Just destroyed. All of the buildings in there taken out. Bomb tower down. Enemy king, enemy queen. Everything looking good. So the queen uses her ability, takes out the wizard tower, and now it's time for the hog riders to wrap around the outside of the base. Here they come from the bottom right. Queen survives. She is going to lock on to the enemy uh, lava hound here. Preferably she dies before that thing gets taken out. But you know what? Maybe we're able to take out those pups after all. So the hogs going around the circle. Again, no real challenge at all here. Uh, just drop the heels as they go he sends in a few from the flank so the hog riders don't take too much of a journey around the outside of the base there are a couple teslas on the outside of the walls here so he sends in hogs you can see uh to take those out just like so and then moves into the last section making sure the heel is as close to the inferno tower as possible so that before they go into it they are at full health now notice he's taken out all of the splash damage so that, uh, you know, he doesn't have to deal with anything like wizard towers after the inferno tower. The bombs are all taken care of in the core. There might be one left in there, uh, right there to the left of the clan castle. But things looking good so far. A ton of hog riders left over. It's now just a matter of cleanup for three poach layup. So really good job recognizing the flaw in the base. Dark Looter Z, I felt like you might have, like, thrown the war a little bit here. The base building... Not quite up to CWL standards, uh, definitely a midweek for sure. Things might have gone a little bit differently had their builders uh, recognized some of the flaws in their own designs. So three poach layup, getting it done. We'll take a look next up. Uh, we'll go up to number 21 Twitch, and Ricky Clash is going to take him out. And guess what he's going to do? Well, I think he's going to exploit a hole. So why don't we drop in a jump spell first and foremost? That jump spell is going to get everything to the core. Uh, but do you guys notice where there might be a hole? Oh, between the wizard towers. Yeah, uh, two tiles, guys. Two tiles, not three. Two. So there's an empty spot in there. You're going to see a golem get dropped in again. Does get the lure. Some Valkyries dropped in as well. And look at the hole created. The Valks take out the queen. And I mean, it's such high value again. Both heroes, the core is taken out, the CC lured, uh, the hound pretty much taken out of play. And as you can see, the hog riders coming around the side here, they're just going to overpower this first section, not even bothering to use any spells until after the Inferno Tower is down. Now it's a matter of getting those hog riders back up to full health. Uh, looks like he does get hit with a giant bomb. And as he goes around to this top side, you're going to see a heal spell come down, get them back up to full, and then supplementary hogs from the top to keep those hogs going around the circle, getting to the Inferno Tower as quickly as possible. So still four hog riders left. Free spell down, and right here you're going to see four more hog riders come in from the left side uh, to try to take out this backside. So there they are, all of them targeting the Archer Tower directly. The rest will head on to the, uh, the cannon here. Notice how the mortar is firing at the first group of hogs where there's only four and not 30 like there was in the uh, first group. So nice job. Everything taken out at this point, and again, completely rickrolled here. Ricky Clash, you're doing a great job. Again, base recognition, guys. Build your bases without holes in them, or they will get wrecked. But Hog Riders, 
definitely a uh, theme of the day for WHF. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some bases that, you know, maybe um, weren't quite so absent-minded as far as leaving holes in them. I don't know. Let's check. So more of a hybrid army here. 13 hog riders in this one, guys. We've got some bowlers as well as golems. Three golems. This looks like a Town Hall 9 army, uh, but we're going to see what's in the CC. Possibly more bowlers for a bigger push. I'm excited to see on this one. So in comes the Hog Riders taking out a defense on the way in, getting the lure, and now we're going to deal with the Lava Hound and the Balloon coming out of the Clan Castle. So Archer Tower, or Archer, in the corner to lure that out. You got a Baby Dragon over there, as well as a couple of Wizards. It looks like the Lava Hound is going to go uh, to the Wizards, but wow. A whole lot of damage being taken uh, on, wow. So 18 camp space to take out the Lava Hound as well as uh, the Pups as well as the Balloon. So look at that value. And then his uh, Baby Dragon is actually going to live. Very, very interesting stuff. So he drops in a couple more Wizards here to take out the Balloon. Nice work. And now it's time for the Golems to come in from the top left. Again, on the funnels, you've got the Wizards. That's going to create a nice double jump location on the top left. First, you're going to see uh, the Kill Squad come in. He's got a third Golem. And bowlers are going to come in to wreck this base. Now, queen is in the core. That's going to lure everything in there. And the goal here is to get the bowlers in there so that they can take out everything inside of that core, adjacent to the core, and on the near side to the kill squad. The hog riders will be responsible for the back end, likely with the heal spell or depending on how far the kill squad gets. Uh, looks like they may uh, use the heal on the kill squad. So here's the rage spell. Watch the bowlers as they take kind of everything out here. Working their way through the wall, as you can see. Over into the core, and now it's time for the queen, time for the bowlers. Hogs go into the Inferno Tower. Look at that. Look at that. Looking really good. Now the hogs in from the top right, and hogs out of the clan castle. So, really good job. He does not bring bowlers. He brings extra hogs, those level 7 huge hog riders just working their way through. The heal spell is for the hogs, and it's uh, designed to keep them up through that splash damage. And again, no chance at all for this base to compete. So, he just takes it out with a strong kill squad. And then he's able to work his way through. So good split there on the Hogs at the very end. Mortar can't take out more than one group. And uh, can't take out any, to be honest with you. So he starts working on the cleanup. Miro Resi getting it done. Taking out Mudkey there for the triple. So Dark Looter Z unable to defend, even with no holes in their base, uh, against the Hog Riders. So we've got one more Town Hall 10 raid to show for you guys today. We're going to be looking more at Hog Riders in this one. And uh, pretty excited about the progress our guys have made. I believe this one air, actually. Yeah, I clicked the wrong one. So we got an air attack, three star in that one. And then we also have Jeeper 5150 doing it with, guess what? Hog Riders. Crazy. So 26 hogs in this one. And again, starting out with the Baby Dragon Funnel uh, over at about 7 o'clock there, taking out those buildings. And then he's got a minion for the army camp there just outside of the range of the air defense. So he's breaking off a nice little funnel. And it looks like a path to enter for his queen to possibly get an Inferno and maybe even the enemy Archer Queen. So enemy Archer Queen is definitely huge. There's some wall breakers going down, opening up the wall and then getting the access to that Inferno tower for the queen so you see golem to the corner and you're going to see like a naked hero walk here from the bottom uh where it's going to funnel be being created right now now you're going to see the queen uh and probably some uh, yeah cc bowlers here there we go and she's just going to work her way in to the wizard tower then to the inferno here so looking really good and this whole bottom quadrant Really nice job taking this out with Bowlers and the King. King in late. Here's a jump spell. That's going to get him direct access to the enemy Queen. And so here comes a Lava Loon out of the CC. Rage spell down for those Bowlers. Look at him go. They are absolutely destroying stuff. So the Inferno Tower is down as well. The base has pretty well been shaped. And he's also taking out a Tesla farm down there at about 4 o'clock. Another giant bomb triggered. And it looks like the Hog Riders now coming in to protect that Archer Queen up at 9 o'clock. So here comes the hogs, they're in, and more coming in to get to that Inferno Tower. There's the freeze spell, and that is going to negate all damage to those hog riders. He, he basically saves it with a heal. Inferno Tower is down before it comes out of the freeze, and it's all about getting him through this last section here. Uh, he sends in some more hog riders from the top, and that is going to help him get through this uh, section of defense much more quickly. 
And the last heal spell comes down for that uh, right side and a poison spell to get all of those skellies. You can see them all going down. So beautiful placement on that by Jeeper. And it's all about getting through these final few defenses. So many hog riders left over. This is not going to be a problem for Jeeper as he's able to clear this. No issue whatsoever. So guys, even though there was no holes in the base, the hog riders still crushing it at Town Hall 10. No holes in the base, but still 20 hogs left over. I mean, I'm I'm thinking that these are pretty freaking strong right now at the Town Hall 10 level. Queen actually survives, makes it all the way around the base to help with the cleanup. Loving what I'm seeing here from WHF and the Hog Riders as they take out Dark Looter Z while I was gone in Estonia. So... You guys learned uh, some interesting things. If you watch the live stream as far as uh, the dragons and the clones, you guys are going to see that on the channel here in the very near future as well. Dark Looters kind of, uh, you know, bringing the new meta for Town Hall 11 dips. I'm definitely going to put that up here in the very near future, giving them credit, of course, because nobody had seen that before they did it on the actual live stream. So big props to them. So for Hog Riders today, that is going to do it. Dark Looters, Z taking a backseat to WHF in this one, 113-109. Mad props to the guys getting it done for WHF. And tomorrow we can probably take a look at the uh, the next war with Chasu and uh, see how that one went as well some great attacks there also we've got another live uh, ward going on we just matched up with red onslaught a very talented clan part of the bada bing clan family looking forward to that matchup as well they do have a two town hall 10 advantage but we're going to do our best to bring that one home also so for power bang and whf i'm signing out till next time guys take care we'll see you soon like the video if you would and sub to the channel if you're new here i will see you guys in the next episode